Problems number 47, 48, 49 of section 2.6 investigate the properties of uh, physical property called lo uh, perceived loudness. Uh, perceived loudness of a given sound pressure is uh, given, by this given by this formula and measured in units of, of what are called decibels. Uh, for more information on like this, uh, more details uh, into the problem, look at the explanation preceding uh, problem number 47. But 47 asks us to prove that we can rewrite the uh, loudness formula in this form. So 20 log P over P naught, where P naught is the threshold of human hearing. Uh, in order to do this, let's notice that um, L is equal to 10 log. And we're assuming that this is log base 10 here, not the natural log. Uh, so 10 log P over P naught quantity squared. Now it becomes a little bit more apparent that we can use the properties of logarithms to move this exponent or move the exponent 2 to the outside. So now we have 2 times 10 or 20 times log of P over P naught, which is exactly what we were asked to show. Now, problem number 48 uh, asks us to justify that if we double uh, this rule of thumb, that if we double the uh, sound pressure, then we don't get necessarily, a, we don't get a doubling of the uh, perceived loudness, but actually an increase of 6.2 decibels in loudness. So, see if we have the loudness um, at twice a given sound pressure will be, uh, let's use the formula that we had before. We just computed in problem number 47. So it will be 20 times the log of uh, P over, uh, let's see, 2P over P naught, which we can write as 20 times log of 2 times p over p naught, which we can finally use, uh, use the multiplicative property of logarithms and rewrite this as 20 log 2 plus 20 times uh, log of p over p naught which we see that this last part here is just the loudness uh, at sound pressure P. And this here is just a constant, which if you plug it into calculator, you'll see that it is indeed approximately 6.02. So what this says is, you know, if we double the sound pressure, then the resulting loudness is the original, the loudness of the original sound pressure plus 6.02 decibels. Now finally, we're asked to compute the uh, rate of change of the loudness with respect to the sound pressure. So as we increase the sound pressure, how quickly is the perceived loudness increasing? So to do this again, we'll use the uh, simplified version of, of the loudness formula. So this is going to be equal to the derivative 20 log P over P naught now 20 is just the constant so we pull it out and now we have the general log function which means that when we take its derivative we multiply first by 1 over natural log of the base, so 1 over natural log of 10 uh, times uh, 1 over uh, the inside of the natural log function, which is p over p naught, or just write this as p naught over p. So simplifying all this, we see that the rate of change is 20 
times the threshold of human hearing over the natural log of 10 times 1 over p. And that's the end of problems number 47, 48, and 49.